Welcome back to Dream Builders. I'm Scott Morgan. Almost everything in this northern Virginia home is a mix of form and function, like the desk and clock behind me. In this week's Field Notes, how a master woodworker brings these custom crafts to life. When Mac and Joan Schwing built their dream home in California's wine country, they hoped to blend the best of two worlds. I think both Joan and I have always felt attracted to modern architecture, but we felt that the things we saw in Japan gave us a chance to blend the two together to fit really our lifestyle and our experiences. The home features pitch dark wood ceilings and expansive bamboo floors, reminiscent of Japanese farm homes even hand-painted Fusuma doors. Of course, the cabinetry had to be equally unique, so Mac and Joan asked a furniture maker to build a large room divider. In a small shop in Emeryville, California, Yop Romain approaches each design as a piece of functional sculpture. Mac wanted a modern look, Joan wanted one that was more traditional. Romain crafted a two-sided divider that appealed to both husband and wife. There's an his side and her side on the, on the Tansu, and he wanted to have his playroom on the, on the back side with the pool table, and so he wanted to have a lighter kind of quality, so that's why his side is done in maple and has a very modern kind of quality to it, while she wanted a more traditional kind of quality to, the, to her side, and so her side is a lot more traditional in a, in a Japanese sense. The dining room presented a different problem. Joan wanted a dumbwaiter to carry food downstairs, but she was concerned about the appearance. Romain created a series of small step-down cabinets to hide the dumbwaiter. He used bamboo to give it an Asian ambiance. When you start building, at some point you put your own energy into it, but when you're halfway, the piece itself takes over, and it tells you what to do. I mean, it's like I'm just the guy that listens to what the piece wants, and uh, that's, that's the really exciting part. For the Schwings, the result is a home that blends different cultures with cabinetry that matches their eclectic taste. I think all the, all the, the textures, the wood textures, all the different uh, interplay of materials, uh, it's a very sort of friendly atmosphere. Uh, it's open, um, it's just homey. So maybe you don't live in a castle, or in a home shaped like a tree, or even this custom-crafted home in Northern Virginia. But isn't it inspiring to know that some people do? We'll show you more next time on Dream Builders. I'm Scott Morgan. So long.